So I just realized that this year is actually a leap year, meaning that anyone who has a birthday on the 29th has their birthday today, so happy birthday anyone tomorrow, because you don't have your birthday that much, which must suck, and you must be very young, which I feel sorry for, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, hey guys, well, we got a match here to ga to Kabla today <laughs> against Naranagi. Uh, yeah, narrating is a good skill. Need to learn how to do it. Anyways, yeah, match against Naranagi. Uh, using my rain team. He's just using, uh, half standard, half weird shit, so, um, it'll be slightly interesting, I guess. The main things that I'm looking at for potential threats is nothing really, actually. Like, um, all of his guys I have at least one or two checks for. Like, Nido King might be the only thing, depending on what it is, just because nothing wants to switch in, and nothing wants to take repeated hits, so that'll be a bit annoying. But after that, I mean, most of his guys I shouldn't have too much trouble with, because I at least have two checks for each of them, except for maybe Jirachi. But I should be able to handle that well enough, so it shouldn't be an issue, so just watch out for Nido King and somewhat Jirachi and the rest of his guys. I shouldn't have a big deal with, because, uh, Arifun sucks. Don Fan I got, like, three guys for... Titar, no problem at all, and then uh, I got a couple things for his Samurott, so no big threats to, for the most part, just gotta watch a little bit and it should be okay, so uh, potential leads, I'm thinking he might want to counter my uh, Rain and then uh, get something going on his end with his Sand and maybe just, uh, I don't know, we'll see, so I was like, let's go with Doug Trio, that might be the best lead possible. Plus, I can get my rocks up early, and rocks are always nice. So, like I said, lead with Doug Trio. He's going to lead off with Arifun. I'm thinking, okay, he'll probably want to sub up this turn, and then the next turn I can, uh, well, not the next turn. This turn I can go for the Stealth Rocks, and then thinking he's going to want to go for Leech Seed. Going to go out to Selby, but if you took note of the lack of leftovers, I didn't. That means he's most likely offensive, which he is, because he goes for Giga Drain. Does a good chunk, because it's a crit, which didn't really matter in the end, but it's still like, oh, wow. Okay, then. So, here I'm like, okay, let's break the sub right now, see what he's got on his set, scout it out a little bit. See, he has a Shadow Ball, which might mean he might not have the Hurricane, or just doesn't want to go for it yet. So, I'm going to go for my Hidden Power Ice, just a quick break of sub, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to act like I'm going to stay in and go for another HP Ice, but I'm going to actually switch out to Politoed so that I can scout out his moveset, see if he has, like, which Hidden Power he might have, um, if he has a Hidden Power, or see if he has Hurricane, I don't know, we'll just scout a set, plus I can get my rain up for my Dragonite so I can bring that into Arifun and then uh, hit him with a hurricane. So you see the hidden power, it does like nothing, and I think he said it probably was fire, so acting on that, I know Dragonite can completely wall him, so just gonna go out to that, he's gonna go for a substitute, which, okay, that's fine, I can just hurricane it. He's gonna go for Shadow Ball to break my multi-scale, which it obviously does, and just hit him with a hurricane to try and take him out. Well, not take him out, just break the sub, which it will break the sub because it's a fucking hurricane from a Dragonite. So if it doesn't, then, uh, n nice, nice, nice hacking. But anyways, do it does take out the sub, and I can easily take a Shadow Ball, even with a multi-scale. Thought maybe his hidden power might be ice, so just be on the safe side, went for Roost. But him going for another Shadow Ball did show that it is hidden power fire indeed. So I can just start going for some hurricanes here, but he's going to go out to his, uh, Tyranitar just to uh, get rid of the rain and also tank a hurricane pretty well. So that's what he'll do. And again, I notice that this does not have any leftovers recovery. So I'm going to assume since he has a Dawn fan on his team, he's running a choice uh, Tyranitar. No matter what choice set it is, Doug Trio can easily take it on. He's going to go for Stone Edge, and that will bring me down to my Focus Sash, which is just what I wanted because I do have Reversal on the set. So fire off the Reversal and... That is one dead T-Tar right there, so that is awesome because I got T-Tar out of the way really quick, so now I win the Weather War, which is always nice because then I have Dragonite's Hurricane in the back row, so, uh, you know, we'll have that. But he brings in the Nita King, and just in case he's bluffing the Choice Scarf, I'm going to stay in, try and go for Earthquake to take him out, but he is Scarfed indeed, so now I know I can play around this thing a bit easier. So again, I got to Polito, just go for Scald to try and take him on. And, uh, you know, it'll hit most of his guys, for the most part, for some kind of thing. Like, I could burn his Samurott, and then his other guys probably won't appreciate taking a Scald. And Arifun dies, so he went into that as Death Fodder. He's gonna go back into Nido King. I assume I can live a Thunderbolt, because he's not Life Orbed or Stab. So, I figure, alright, let's take a Thunderbolt. Plus, I can see what he locked himself into, just in case, uh, he lives a Scald, or he predicted me weirdly. So, I want to see what he would go for. I knew he could live any hit. I do, and I actually take him out with Scald, which is awesome, so now I don't have to do any weird switching, and, you know, we're just here. So now he's going out to Jirachi, he goes for Substitute right off the bat, so I'm not really sure what kind of set he is, because he could be a uh, Sub-T-Wave, Sub-Call-Mind, 
sub agility. I don't know who Jirachi doesn't even get agility. What am I even saying? You know, it, it's just a subbing set, and I don't know what kind it is yet. But he goes for Calm Mind right here, which does show obviously that he is a sub Calm Mind set. I mean, if it didn't show that, then uh, what 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 do you think it is? Sub d d d Pattaya Agility Baton Pass? I don't know. The point is, I went for Scald. Doesn't do that much after the Calm Mind, but I know here. He's going to want to go for Thunderbolt, not wanting to chance anything else. And so I'm like, all right, Terrakion, let's go. Please don't Psychic. He didn't Psychic. So that means that I can take a Thunderbolt and then hopefully try and take him out with the close combat because that's the best thing I really have to go for at this point because uh, Doug Trio is dead. So that means I can't kill off Jirachi with the Doug Trio. So I got to hope Terrakion takes it out, and it does. So that is awesome because he doesn't have any defense investment, which means obviously he can take it out. So now he's going to go into Dawn Fan. I'm like, all right, let's just close combat because Terrakion doesn't really have much of a use anymore because he has this, and he has Samurott, which Samurott might have the Aqua Jet. So it's like, whatever, I'll just close combat, see how much it does. It does a good fucking chunk, which I should have assumed that it wasn't that defensive because of that, but I didn't. So as you'll see in the next move, I do something kind of stupid. But he just does take me out with Ice Shard there, and uh, yeah, my Tracheon's dead. Oh well, it did stuff, so it's fine. So I go to Selby thinking, hey, I can take an Ice Shard and then take him out with a Giga Drain. Turns out, I can't. But it was a crit, so it might have mattered, might not. I don't really care, because it doesn't matter in the long run, as you'll see. Snout going into Politoed. He's not going to Ice Shard in case he can somehow randomly have a Scald, which he can't. So I just take him out with the Scald, and that is a dead uh, blah, blah 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 thing. Yeah, a dead Dawn fan. That's what I meant to say. So now he's going to go out to Samurott. I'm like, okay, no matter what he is, I got three Pokemon left. That is just enough to outlast him. Because what I can do here is I can go for Parish Song. So that'll mean he's going to die no matter what because that's his last guy. Like I said, I got three Pokemon. Uh, I know at least Dragonite can take two hits. Well, not take two hits, but stall out for two turns because of multi-scale. So, <clears throat> plus I didn't figure he could Oko Politoed, which he doesn't. So that means easily I have this match in the bag because he went for SD and then Waterfall. Didn't quite take me out. So now uh, that's one extra turn down from the Parish Song. So now... I'm just going to die here, and he has one turn left, so now it's just a choice of what do I want to send in for the final turn? Do I want it to be Scizor, or do I want it to be Dragonite? So, I choose a uh, Scissor to see how much a Bullet Punch will randomly do for the hell of it, because I have nothing better to do. So I go for Bullet Punch, and it doesn't take it out. It only does like 30%-ish, so that's something to keep in mind if you're ever going to Bullet Punch a fucking Samurott. If it has 30%-ish health, then it'll die. If it doesn't, then it won't die, but... The Parish Song kills it, so it doesn't really matter. So that'll be the match. So, uh, good game, Nagi. That that was that was a thing. I don't know. Whatever. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was a match. I don't know. But, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, that was a battle. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Blah, 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 etc., etc. Remember to click the link below to help me win concert tickets. Um, LP part up later. All that blah, blah, blah stuff. So, uh, yeah. La, 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 la. Rate, comment, sub, and later, guys.